Today's thought of the day is on how to forgive. Forgiving is really difficult. And there's two sides of forgiveness. One is forgiving the person who wronged you, but also forgiving yourself for the mistakes you've made. I'm going to share a story in my life where I was forced to work on both of these things. It began in the 10th grade when I was bullied. I was verbally assaulted on everything from looks to intelligence, you name it. I wanted so desperately to be popular and fit in. This desperation became so powerful that I began hanging out with people who I believed were my friends until they started bullying me as well. At the time, I thought this was okay because boys will be boys and we make fun of each other. It wasn't okay. The attacks began to worsen. By the end of it, I turned into someone I didn't even recognize. I finally met some decent friends on my Kairos retreat before graduating, but the damage had already been done. I went to undergrad and moved on, or so I thought. I wasn't angry at the kids anymore, but my self-esteem was destroyed. I saw a therapist who gave me a self-esteem workbook and that helped for a while. But when you hear something that isn't true every day, year after year, you begin to make it true and you be begin to believe it. I started to believe that I was ugly and that I was dumb and that I wouldn't make it far in life. But you see, I was missing a big piece. I had taken all of this negative energy and it consumed me. It still does. But someone told me recently that if I start thinking positively about myself and flush out the lies they had said, things could change. If I let these thoughts continue to impact me, then I am letting these people who are no longer in my life still have control over me. They probably haven't even thought about me since we graduated. What I'm working on now is forgiving myself. Forgiving myself for the mistakes of the past, because without that, I will never be able to move forward while living in the past. I need to forgive my past self for getting involved with these people. And healing is a process. It won't magically change overnight if I just sit on the sidelines. The second part of this is forgiving others. Yes, people wronged me, but as it is written in scripture, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. What a powerful reminder for us to forgive those who have wronged us. Now, I received a message from someone from high school about three and a half years after the fact. He reached out for forgiveness. I was shocked. It meant a lot to me that he cared enough to reach out. I told him that I forgave him. I said it, but did I really mean it? The words that were spoken to me still rang in my mind from high school. One way I'm trying to move forward is by sharing this story, but not for small talk or out of anger, but because my story might help some of you watching. Forgiveness is extremely hard, but there are healthy ways to handle it. If you journal, write about it. Write it down and see if anything happens. If you're like me, think positive thoughts. This really helped me to begin to forgive myself and to begin to heal. I don't have all the answers on forgiveness because I'm still working on forgiving myself. As I said, forgiving and healing, it's going to take a lot of time. I hope this has helped you to open your hearts to seek or forgive someone in your life that may need it and to be able to forgive yourself.